Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest automotive news. Today, we're diving into the topic of selling your EULA's non-compliant car. With the expansion of London's ultra-low emission zone, there's been a surge in non-compliant cars facing a daily charge and a shortage of compliant cars. This has caused a decline in the value of non-compliant vehicles, making it a challenging situation for owners, according to experts. Many of these cars have found their way to rural areas, where the emission standards aren't as strict. Savvy buyers are taking advantage of the falling prices and snapping up these cars for use outside the ULIS zone. However, for those hoping for a stay in the expansion or looking to change cars, the options are limited. Replacing a non-compliant car with a compliant one can be quite costly, with the average cost of a ULIS compliant car being around £6,900. Although there is a £2,000 scrappage scheme offered by Transport for London, it may not be enough to offset the expenses. This has led some to consider alternative options, such as buying Euro 4 cars for around £1,000 or exploring the used electric vehicle market. The demand for ULES compliant vehicles has increased, leading to some local car dealers charging a premium for these cars. However, there are signs that interest in electric vehicles is cooling outside of London, possibly due to cost of living pressures. This could mean that used EVs are more affordable now, with prices dropping by as much as 30%. If you find yourself in a situation where you need to sell your non-compliant car, there are online services available, such as We Buy Any Car, Kazoo, and CarGurus. These platforms offer a convenient and hassle-free way to sell your vehicle, even conducting the entire transaction online. So, while the prices may be low for non-compliant cars, there are still options available to sell them. It's important to note that the EULA's expansion and its impact on non-compliant cars have sparked debate and frustration among motorists. Many feel that scrapping perfectly good vehicles isn't environmentally friendly and that there should be alternative solutions to address air pollution. The future of EULA's and its effects on car owners remain uncertain, but for now, it's crucial to explore all available options. What are your thoughts on the EULA's expansion and selling non-compliant cars? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more automotive news. Thanks for watching.